Hi, welcome to my Levi tutorial, which is going to tackle the wig and makeup. We'll start with the wig, which has been provided by our sponsor, Epic Cosplay Wigs. A lot of you guys have been asking for an undercut tutorial, which I already did with my Rio tutorial from Devilman Crybaby. I've meant to revamp my Levi for a while, so I thought this would be a great opportunity to show off Epic Cosplay's new wig that already has all of the undercut work done for you. The Nikkei style in black with pepper gray. Yes, Nikkei, that's how you properly pronounce it. Goddess of victory, Nikkei, not Nike, the sports brand. I art history. Anyways, the Nikkei wig already has the colors I wanted for Levi style, which is a bull cut up top with an undercut down below. To start, put the wig on your head and figure out how to style the rest on your face. Figure out where you want your bang part to be. Then go right into cutting that corporal. Basically, cut all the longer parts in front of the wig into a blunt cut like Levi's. He pretty much has the same length of hair all over that isn't his undercut. Thin out the ends of the wig. I do this by holding it between my fingers and seemingly going crazy with the scissors to lessen the bluntness of my initial cut. To better make this wig work for my face, I'm shaping up the bangs around my eyes. Levi's does this as well, but if leaving it longer works better for your face, then leave it alone. This wig is very fluffy, so to combat that thickness, I'm thinning it out and shaping up the top of the wig. Brush out any loose fibers. Refine your part again. Do any touch-ups. Then go at it with a flat iron to style the fibers inward. Levi's hair has a slight curl inwards and the wig came looking very domed, so I wanted to straighten it out a bit more. With it flat ironed, some larger pieces came forward, so I trimmed them up. Find the part again and go at it with the flat iron again. Trim up that one part of hair that emerged from flat ironing it. Again, now you're done. That's it. The wig is pretty easy to style since it already came with an undercut styled in. I would really recommend the Nikkei style to anyone who needs an undercut wig or doesn't have much experience with styling undercuts. It also comes in a lot of other combinations, so go check those out. On to makeup. First, remove your eyebrows. Levi has dummy thin brows, so unless you already have these brows, we're gonna need to get rid of your default ones. To remove your brows, start by brushing your brow hair forward. Forward. This will give the best environment to get in those brow hairs good later on. Lather on the glue against the brow hair to get it under the hairs. Then go the opposite direction to glue them down. Ensure they stay down by using whatever this is and comb them into your brow. Add more glue and comb the hairs down again. You'll wait for the glue to dry. I know mine's done when it, it dries clear. In the hands of a child, the glue stick matters. But double check by touching it gently with your fingers. You don't want to start the further steps until it's completely dry. Now we are at further steps. Apply concealer to the brows and blend. While this dries, I'm applying my moisturizer, primer, and foundation to kill time. Please note, I'm not putting concealer under my eyes for this cosplay makeup because I feel like keeping my awful dark circles and transparent skin under my eyes will add to the realism of Levi's tiredness of fighting titans. To further hide the brows, I apply more concealer. I also add powder foundation between the layers to get them to disappear. There are probably much easier ways of doing this, but this is how I do it. Finally, the brows are gone enough and I set it with one last dab of foundation powder. I go right into contouring my nose with powder contour. This is the first thing to be contoured because the way I do Levi's brows is very dependent on where I put my contour for the nose and eyes. Next, I contour and highlight my entire face. Everyone's face is different, so therefore everyone's contour will be different. I contour mine by sinking in my face, defining my jaw more, and rounding out my forehead. I add highlights to the areas where I want to amplify the illusion, which is the center of my face, forehead, and nose. 
For the eyes, I begin to contour on Levi's eye shape by creating fake shadows to make my eyes look larger, smaller, since mine are stupidly big, and more tired. I also make them look sunken. Also, I shade in some furrow lines to age my face. Plus, I think Levi would have these. He always looks like a sour grape. To reap the fruits of our earlier labor, I draw on the brows. I have them follow the shadows I've made in my eye sockets to build on that illusion. To make my face look a little more masculine, I draw them on a little thicker than his are in the manga or anime. But this is cosplay kids, interpret the character as you want. Then with the color that's a little too dark, but we're gonna roll with it anyways, I draw on fake lines to give the impression of Levi's eye shape. I did this in black, which I personally don't like to do because it looks too cartoonish for me. Usually I use a dark to light brown, but I didn't clean the brush after doing my brows, so my bad. Back to the eyes. I deepen some shadows to age my eyes. Add more highlight because you have a problem. Go back over your contour again because reasons IDK why I did probably to make it more pronounced or something. With a nude lipstick, I conceal my lips, but that wasn't good enough, so I went over it with a concealer too. Add in some lip contour because this man frowns a lot. I also added contour to my chin. Put on that freshly styled wig and draw on some sideburns. They're a weird little difference that really does make all of the difference with my Levi cosplay. It helps blend in the wig into your face, and if you have any troublesome hairs, now is the time to dye them black with some eyeshadow. Do any last minute tough chups, mine are just to make me look older. <laughs> Set it all with setting spray, and you're done. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope it's helpful to anyone looking to cosplay this character. I'd also like to give a huge thanks to our sponsor, Epic Cosplay Wigs, for the wig, to Kenny for filming the tutorial and the showcase footage for me, and Svati, my lovely girlfriend who got me into this godforsaken 3DMG. If you use this tutorial, please share your work by tagging me on whatever social media you're using. Let me know what tutorial you want to see next down in the comments below. Until then, bye!